Well, Fisher Family Trust is named after Mike Fisher. Mike was set up a trust to help initially support projects he was interested in. Projects kicked off, um, I think about 45 local authorities joined up. We never promoted it since then. It grew to all local authorities in England and Wales. It's actually through folks contacting us saying, can we join? The main ethos is still providing information that will help schools, local authorities and others partly evaluate how well they've done in the past to identify strengths and weaknesses, but also think about what they might be aiming for in the future. When we do the analysis, it's based on value-added analysis that we do across the whole national data sets, and that's, that's based on value-added methodology that we first developed you know, many years ago, back in 2001 and 2. There are organisations who provide analysis on value-added and to some extent on estimates, and they tend, they tend not to be based on national curriculum data sets and, and not based on national data sets, so in some respects what we're doing is unique. A few years ago, some learning approach was really just to say, well, you've got all this data on you know, value added, the progress students have made. Is there anything you could do for us and look and see if there's any relationship between use of some learning materials and the sort of progress and attainment students are making? Take this set of students that have done something and compare them with the national data set and see if there's anything different for them. And what we can then do, because we've got that data at individual student level nationally, we can look at any subset of pupils and we can say, what are the differences? And also, are those differences big enough to be statistically significant? And certainly the, the differences we're finding are way outside normal um, significance limits. The research we've done over the years has consistently shown that the level of use does make a difference. There's a pretty consistent relationship, as in the more students make use of some learning materials, the higher their attainment is and the better their progress is. The differences we find when we look at the um, impact of some learning and how the attainment of progress varies by level of use, those differences are always significant. Students make use for, let's say, around about 10 hours, then typically, if, if they were taking, let's say, eight or nine, something like that, subjects at Turkey uh, Stage 4. We tend to look at the best eight or eight, eight subjects. Then typically they might get a grade higher in, let's say, two of those subjects. If it's 20 hours, it's more like a grade higher in maybe four subjects, something like that. To give you a feel for how that difference varies for different pupil groups, if we take students at out to free school meals who've used for about 10 hours, then the gains there are more like three and a half to four grades on average higher rather than the two for non-FSM students. If you are using SAM Learning, have you actually thought about impact on different students? I mean, maybe, maybe a message we could get in would be, let's take those students who aren't getting nearly so much use at home, have you thought about whether you want to supplement that in some way so that you can get the best gains for them out of your investment in the system? And that's actually a message for somebody new coming in using the system ought to be looking at as well. You know, are you just, are you using it or are you actually using it and evaluating its impact on different students? If where schools are doing or using something, some learning in this case, there is a consistent difference and that difference is maintained over a number of years, then I would suggest that people not doing that ought to look at it and think, is that, might that work for me? There's enough evidence that this is worth seriously considering. We get feedback from stuff we do about how maybe it's helped somebody identify that student or whatever and improve things for them. That's the bit that matters most in the end. It's not rocket science really. <laughs>